Hi, Jim Jordan speaking to you from Ashland, Oregon, July 11th, 2012. And today I want to talk to you about sugar and its effect on your health. And it really is the number one health mistake, dietary mistake people make in their, in their diet. And that is to consume too much sugar or foods that convert to sugar quickly. Those foods would include, of course, refined sugar foods, any uh, processed product that has fructose or high fructose corn syrup in it, read the labels, a lot, almost everything processed has refined sugar in it or fructose corn, uh, high fructose corn syrup. Um, also, uh, foods that like fruit juice, pro processed fruit juice is just packed with sugar. It just drives up your blood sugar levels. Uh, refined grains, white bread, white rice, alcohol, all the things people like, pretty much, almost everything people like uh, is too, has too much sugar. And the way sugar adversely affects your health, there's numerous ways, but let me talk to you about, from my perspective, when I look at live blood, uh, how it affects your health and also how it affects your health um, in, other, in, in other ways. So the first thing uh, sugar does when it gets into the bloodstream is your, your pancreas has to produce insulin to insulate the sugar to transport it into the cells. If your pancreas can't do that efficiently enough, which often it can't, the sugar will recycle in your bloodstream, sticking the blood cells together. For those of you that have seen me for a live blood cell test, you'll see often the number one observation I have is sticky blood cells, red cells that are not getting the oxygen they need, not delivering the nutrients throughout the body that you need. Often that is because you have too much sugar in your blood and it's sticking the blood cells together. Sugar is also um, a free radical. Refined sugar, glucose is, uh, not glucose, but uh, high fructose corn syrup becomes a free radical in the bloodstream and it oxidizes proteins, causing what's called protein glycation, which is damaging proteins, which is the primary cause of aging. So when you degenerate, when your skin gets wrinkly, when you get age spots, when you have free radical damage, when your blood vessels get damaged, and you have clots in your bloodstream, this is primarily, at least significantly contributed to by excess sugar levels. Sugar also is a, the primary fuel for pathogens in your body. Bacteria, parasites, candida, all the stuff in your intestines that you've heard about, like yeast and candida and fungus and parasites that we see all the time, in the, whether it's in the stool samples, in the live blood test, the effects of that, leaky gut syndrome, all that is driven by sugar. Sugar feeds these pathogens. So whether it's from refined sugar products, candy, soda pops, or alcohol, wine, beer, white flour, too many carbohydrates, either way, it's driving up those pathogen loads in your intestines, wreaking havoc on your digestion, damaging your gut lining, allowing waste to leak into your bloodstream, which then stresses out your liver and your immune system. Another way that uh, sugar adversely affects your health is sugar paralyzes your white blood cells. It pretty much stops them dead in their tracks. The white blood cells should be patrolling your bloodstream, eating up pathogens and toxins, protecting you. White sugar or refined sugar or foods that convert to sugar quickly will just paralyze them. I remember I was doing a presentation once in Chicago in front of a group of people and I had a person come up to do a demonstration on their live blood and showed it on a huge screen in front of maybe 70, 80 people, 60, 70 people. And um, what I know was most significant was her white blood cells were just round. They didn't move at all throughout the entire half hour, 45 minutes I was talking uh, to the group. Of course, her diet was not that good. She drank soda pop and ate sweets and things like that. I told her, you know, for her real appointment when she came back to see me just a few days later to stop all sugar. Just eat protein, vegetables, good fats, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of whole grains, nuts and seeds, common sense, you know, diet, beverages, water, fresh vegetable juice, herbal tea, some just basic common sense from my perspective. Her white blood cells a few days later were moving through the blood rapidly, strong, active and healthy. That was a huge, it made a huge impact on her. And it reinforced uh, in me my understanding of how sugar adversely affects the immune system. 
These are some of the ways that sugar adversely affects your health. There's a few others I want to mention. Uh, sugar also, as a, as, a, as, a, as a free radical, will deplete the body of minerals. It's acidic in the body. So magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, zinc, chromium, all these essential minerals your body needs to activate its enzyme systems are depleted by excess sugar. So these are, these are some of the things that come to mind of how your, your blood will be affected, your health will be affected by excess sugar consumption. The basic idea is um, sugar is, is not a food, and certain foods that convert to sugar quickly have to be buffered with adequate fats and protein. So even eating fruit, you have a piece of fruit or a bowl of berries, it's best to eat it with some fatty food like an avocado or some coconut. Um, that would, nuts or seeds would be good to buffer the sugar, so to slow down the uptake of the sugars into the blood. That would be ideal. Most people don't even think about that. The first thing, they, they sit down at a restaurant, they have a glass of wine, they'll have desserts that are completely processed, um, you know, lots of sugar in them, uh, chemicals, all kinds of junk, and their health is going to be adversely affected. They get overweight, their immune system is weakened, they age more rapidly than they need to, they have chronic parasite and fungal infections, uh, poor oxygenation of the tissues, their energy is lower, their brain doesn't work as well because it doesn't get the oxygen it needs because the blood cells are all clumped up. Pathogens in the blood like mycoplasma get fed and you have sort of chronic low-grade infections in your body. There is no end to the adverse effects of sugar. So the main thing I recommend is, you know, you once in a while if I have a dessert, I'll make sure I have enough protein in my body to buffer it. If I have a glass of wine or beer, ideally you would have some protein in your body first, some meat, some chicken, you know, something, some, some protein to slow down the uptake of sugar. Basically, it's to spread out your indiscretions to rarely. You have a, a dessert once, you don't have one for another five or six days. Uh, if you have fruit, keep it at a modest level of fruit. Fruit juice, don't eat fruit, drink fruit juice. Drink vegetable juice, low glycemic vegetable juice, or water. Uh, you can eat fruit, but it's a natural food, but keep it in lower quantities than normal. Focus on protein and vegetables, good fats, butter, olive oil, coconut oil, nuts and seeds, raw nuts and seeds, and your health will be fantastic. This is the most common sense advice I can give you. I hope it helps you. If you have questions, you can always call my office, uh, visit my website, www.createvibranthealth.com. My office number is 541-482-2250. Have a great day.